things that make you go, hmm. And we are back. I pray that you've had an amazing week and that everything has been going well. Um, I love hearing the comments and the comments that you all are writing on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube on how much of a blessing this is in your life. I want to know what you think about these videos that we're doing. Um, and thank you to all those that are still watching the daily that we're only doing it once a week. But I want to know like, you know, if you have ideas or if there's certain things that you want me to like talk about, let me know about that and we'll get that in the slate and we'll make sure to get it going. But hey, welcome back. Welcome back. I want you to share this with someone and let someone know that we are looking to be a blessing in their life and we're looking just to help someone out. We're just trying to help someone out. One of the ideas that, that, I, that I wrote down and I started really thinking about it, and I started thinking about this guy. Yes, I'm gonna give my age right now to a certain degree. There was this guy that he used to have like a talk show and it was one of the popular talk shows and it was called the Arsenio Hall Show. Like every night I would try to like get away to see it because we were not supposed to be watching TV at that time because it was a late show. And there was one thing that Arsenio Hall used to say all the time, things that make you go, hmm. When I think about that, that phrase that Arsenio Hall used to say all the time, it makes me think of that things don't always make sense. Something growing up, you know, that we always laughed about, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? It leaves us kind of like, well, what one has to happen before, it, it just, it's just so much, but you may be asking yourself, or there may be a lot of things that don't make sense in your life, but the reality is sometimes you may even tell yourself, well, why me? Why has this happened to me? Why is it out of an entire house of 10 people, I was the only one that got COVID? Maybe that's your story. I thank God that that has not happened to me. I pray, Lord, protect us, please. But sometimes things happen and we're just kind of like, why me? I get in my car and I'm already running late and all of a sudden I realize I have a flat tire. Or you realize that the person that you let them use your car didn't put gas in your That I'm gonna tell you, there are certain things that annoy me. It's like if I let someone use my car and they give me the car back and it's dirty and there's no gas in it, it's like, yeah, you're not using my car again. We have five children, you know, and I and that's I, I find that one of my greatest um, treasures in the world is to be a father. And sometimes my kids are just like, well, you know, it wasn't me or, or why me or why do I have to do this or why do I have to do that? And 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 and. Sometimes you just gotta kind of go down the phone. Life is not always fair. You know, sometimes people may say, well, this doesn't make sense. And well, I feel like I'm a magnet to problems. I'm a magnet to bad relationships, to bad jobs, to bad friendships. For instance, you could, there could be 20 people standing at the bus stop and all of a sudden a big bus and it was raining the night before. And all of a sudden the bus comes and it splashes only you. Out of the 20 people, only one person got completely drenched and the other 19 were completely dry looking at you like you the crazy one. Look it, there will be things in our life that will just not make sense, but we have to find a way to keep our head up. There are certain things that I will never be able to explain, I'll never be able to fix, but the reality is God didn't call me or place me here on this earth to figure everything out. I'm not God, you're not God. I can preach that right there because the reality is some of us, we think that we're God and we're trying to figure it all out and we wanna like package it. And you know what the problem is? We're living in a Netflix, uh, 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 zoo, uh, uh, what's, what's that other one? Uh, there's Disney, there's um, Hulu, there, there, there's a whole bunch of things, but everything is finished at the end of the show. That is not how life works. Sometimes things take longer than what's expected, but I have to make a decision if I am the victim or the builder. I'm gonna say that again. I have to make a decision if I'm the victim, oh, this is my life is so bad, or I'm a builder. One thing that helps me when I'm trying to figure things out or I'm trying to make decisions, I go to the word of God. First John chapter four, verse 16 says, we know how much God loves us. He loves me, he loves you. And we have put our trust in his love. God is love and all who live in love live in God and God lives in them. That scripture right there really gives me so much clarity 
And there's one phrase that really stands out. God is love. And a lot of times people say, well, God is love, God is love. But it also that scripture says God is love. And all who live in love live in God. We need to walk in love. We need to walk with compassion. And when things don't make sense, maybe someone took something from you that belonged to you. Maybe you lost something that you know that you worked so hard for. But the truth is, as long as you understand that someone greater than you, because I believe that God is greater than us. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. But you will always have to build from somewhere. I rather build from a place of pure love and unconditional love. That's what I rather do. When things don't make sense in your life, you need to have a little EAM. You're like, EAM? That sounds like something you eat on Thanksgiving. No, it's E-A-M. It's evaluate, adjust, and move. With the different things that are going on in our life, let us make a decision that even if things don't make sense, we're gonna evaluate what's going on, what can I change, start adjusting what needs to be adjusted to have success, and not only that, start moving. What is start moving? Action. Get moving and don't stay in the same place. Family, I love you. I pray that this has been a blessing in your life and please share this with someone. Blessings.